Hey everyone, happy new year. I hope you all had a really lovely Christmas and are enjoying the new year so far. I know I am. Um, I had a couple of these clips from me redoing my daughter's uh, IKEA daybed for her. I painted it purple. It was white, it was second hand, um, which was exactly what we needed. I really didn't want to spend full price on the bed. I honestly didn't know how moving her from a crib to a bed was going to go. And uh, she wanted a purple bed and she's pretty strong-willed and I like to give her really what she wants. So she really wanted a purple bed and I wasn't sure how I was gonna find that um, unless I got her like a small toddler bed and I really just wanted to get one bed, like crib, two bed. So I went with a full-size twin. It is a day bed and I figured I could paint it. So like I said, it was second hand. It wasn't in great condition, but I refinished it and it looks amazing and that's what this video is showing you um, how to just like very quickly refinish a piece of IKEA furniture basically um, which up until now I didn't think you could do well but it's held up really well she's had it for a month a month and a half almost um, and there's no signs of it like chipping or wearing off uh, I show you the products the products that I used in this video uh, on her bed and so far they've been really really great so so it's a short video uh, but I thought I would share the process of how I refinished my toddler's IKEA day bed and gave her the purple bed of her dreams hope you enjoy it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'd like to be doing a lot more of these kinds of videos um, lifestyle mummy videos in 2020 it's a goal and so far I'm really enjoying it so she really wanted a purple bed and um, obviously those aren't easy to come by so I thought okay I'll just buy one second hand that has like drawers and the storage I want um, and then I'm gonna paint it which is something I say I will do often like these chairs and then I never do I'm just using this beauty tone um, acrylic stick it primer sealer because I'm painting an Ikea bed so there you can see like it's kind of like in that condition so I really want to clean it up in it. I'm going to be using a sprayer to do this. My girlfriend um, lent me a paint sprayer so that is what I'm going to do and uh, the primer turned out really really nice actually a nice finish so I think I'm just going to go around make sure there's no little hairs or um, spots that I want to sand down a little bit, but right now, looking at it in the daylight, I think it's good. I need to get the sprayer a try and just start to see the purple. Give this a try. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous and excited. So the lighting's bad down here, but I've done some. It's really purple. And the sprayer is, uh, that one's still drying, this one I just did. Um, the sprayer's a lot heavier than I, expected it to be but I think Avery's going to love this because it's purple. I ended up using this polyacrylic um, top coat. It's a water base and I tried it in the sprayer. I couldn't seem to get it to come out nicely. It kept clogging so I ended up having to use a brush and roller. It seems to have really helped it hold up great. I only did do one coat. I could have done more I suppose um, but so far I'm really really happy with it and this is the bed. So um, like you can see this bed had ridges and a lot of detail in it That's me showing you some spots where the polyacrylic didn't turn out so great. So to be really mindful and not super um, Heavy-handed with the application. I did get I guess a little bit sloppy there at the end But uh, that was the, the polyacrylic and so I wish I had have just been a little bit more careful with it. It was clear 
and that did make it a little bit harder to work with I guess because I didn't mean for it to come out like that obviously if it had been sprayed it would have been a beautiful finish but I just couldn't get the sprayer to work but all in all I'm really happy with how this turned out I think the sprayer for the paint was key because there are so many ridges in this there would have been a lot of brush strokes if I hadn't hadn't have used the sprayer um, and as you can see it's just it's cute it's a pretty purple bed it's a nice color hopefully it holds up well if not I still have all the products I could do a touch up I could put more top coat on um, all in all I'm really really happy with it and this is a quick tour of her final toddler uh, bedroom makeover this was her big birthday gift for her third birthday and I tried to use a lot of the decor pieces that I had already in her nursery, as well as give her some updated pieces. I did do a toddler uh, bedroom makeover video in and of itself, so I will link that down below if you're curious to see what her nursery used to look like and what we completely transformed it into for her toddler girl or toddler big girl's bedroom. Um, you can check that out. But she loved okay. it again. Are you excited? Yes! Are you ready for bed? Yes! Yay! And then we can that in here by looks up! Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I would love to see some comments.